Chapter 1. Where to look from. Apu, what are all these pictures? These are pictures of how I look from different sides. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, an object or a person can look different from different sides. Let's see a few more examples to understand this. This is how a cap looks from the front view, side view, and top view. And the book here is the same. You can look at it from the top view, or the front view, or the side view. Now here's an image of a bus. You can do the same for the bus. You can look at it from the top, or from the front, or from the side. Do you see how all of them look different from each view? I've taken a few images of different objects. Can you guess from which side I have shot it from? So this is the picture of a dog. And this, if you guessed it, was shot from the front view. This is a picture of a car. And I'm sure you guessed this one. This one's shot from the side view. Now let's see if you can get this last one. Here's a picture of a bag. This bag is shot from the side view. Great, so let's move on. Dots and patterns. Have you seen these patterns before? These kind of patterns can be made using evenly spaced dots. Let's try and draw a few. Note that some lines in the shape are straight and some are not. All right, now let's try something else. Let's complete these figures to make squares and rectangles. Let's try and draw simple objects on this grid. Now here I'm drawing a boat. Now here we can draw a leaf this way. Now how about drawing a star now? Mirror halves. Apu, here I've drawn one half of the face of a rabbit. Can you help me complete it? Oh sure, that's so simple. Let me place a mirror here. See, we now have a complete picture. Let's try this for a few different objects. So here I have the drawing of half an apple. Now I'm going to place a mirror by its side. Now we, with the mirror, have a complete picture of how the apple looks here. That's pretty interesting, isn't it? Okay, let's try something else. Let's try it with one. Here I have a butterfly. Now all these pictures can be completed using a mirror, like this. That was fun, wasn't it? Now here I have the image of one half of a teacup. Can we complete this picture with a mirror? No, we cannot. This image does not have two similar halves. In other words, it is not symmetrical. Let us put to use what we have just learned. Try making a mask. It can be of an animal or any imaginary character. So here we are. Let's take a sheet of paper, fold it along the center, on one side, draw the outline of the mask you want to make. Let's say, maybe you want to make a mask of a cat. Cut along the outline of the cat. Open the paper and you will have something like this. Now draw its eyes, nose, and mouth. And now you can color it and tie a rubber band on the sides of the mask. There you go, now you're ready to wear it. Wasn't that fun? Hope you kids enjoyed yourself. We did a lot of fun activities today, didn't we? See you next time. Bye-bye.